guys, what's up? So today I want to talk a little bit about what I'm doing at the moment with antennas. So this is the antenna that comes with the Hacker F and the Porta Pack. So um, you can check out my previous videos to see some of the demonstrations with that. Um, so as you can see, you know, it's not really the best, but it is a extendable telescopic antenna, meaning you can change the length of it. So it does go, you know, might be like a 24 inch antenna, something like that. This one in particular that came with the Hacker F uh, Porta Pack clone. Um, but one of the issues is, you know, it's it is a little uh, got a little bit of play there. So um, you do have a screw on the side, and you can attempt to tighten it with that, but it doesn't always work out so great. Um, so it's not ideal, but you can do better. And I can talk about today how I'm doing better on the cheap. So what I did was I went ahead and online I got one of these, I believe, to be honest with you, I think it's a knockoff of one of those diamond antennas, uh, SRH789, as you can read right here on the side. And what else is cool is it also has uh, measurements here. So you can see the antenna length measurement here. Another reason I think it's a knockoff, they didn't even put the sticker on right, and I left for this video to show you because all you have to do is push it down but you know not not the finest work but it is a very durable antenna at least partly durable so uh and i'll get on that in a moment because i actually bought two of them because i ended up breaking the first one and i'll tell you how i did that but what's cool is you have the frequencies here and you also have some centimeter lengths here that you can play around with for uh lengthening your antenna and tuning to the frequency that you want to work in uh, so it's much longer, as you can see, much longer antenna, so I can lay them side by side real fast and just show that on the screen. You know, it's got, you know, at least several inches on it. And uh, so it's definitely a longer antenna. It's also a much stronger antenna because, in fact, on my other HackRF, that also broke. So this little piece of plastic here, if you look close, see that little plastic that allows it to rotate? Uh, that actually snapped on my other one, and it was only held by a very thin piece of what looked like porcelain. Uh, so not the most durable antenna, but this other one is going to be a big improvement, and I'm going to do a little demonstration on that today to show you guys what I'm talking about. So... This one, my first one, let me show you that one. What happened was, uh, this was, when I screwed it on all the way, it was leaning the other direction. I didn't want it. I wanted to be able to bend it upward so I could sit it flat down and have my antenna going up with the Hacker F and Porta Pack. Um, so what I did was, it looked like, and this, in many antennas, they're actually built where you can actually turn this. Now, on this one, you cannot, and I'll show you. Here's the one I actually got first that broke and what happened was is it was not meant to turn even though it moved pretty easily I didn't force it or anything um, but the only thing that was holding it was this little wire which is the antenna wire um, and that was soldered to the base here so what happened was by turning that just trying to adjust the antenna to stand up with the porta pack facing down it ended up breaking that wire so I'll probably solder it back on and then I'll have two of these but it actually is very, very durable feeling. Other than that, uh, this is very stiff. So, you know, it's nothing like the other one. It's very, very stiff. So it, it'll really hold in place for you. Um, and like I said, it has different ways that can help you tune the antenna on the side. Um, you can also go into your t utilities here. I figure I may as well show that. And you can go to antenna length. If you go into that antenna length, you can go here and you can tune in the frequency there um, and find out the length of antenna you need to extend. Um, but let's go ahead and just show the difference. So I'm going to extend it all the way and then we're going to just do some basic RX receiving. And I'm actually in a basement right now, so it's not going to be the best. And that's why we're going straight to FM radio, because I know that will be picked up much easier. So we'll go down to the audio app and let's go ahead and put on... All right, let me see. Start here. Go over here, change the bandwidth. 
we'll get them. So we're going to have both antennas running 32 and 32 as shown. And then, um, so you can see we can pick it up and you know, it's picking it up pretty clear. Um, let's go ahead and try the other one, the newer one and just see if there's any improvement there. The one that's not broken. So you can get this on various websites. I've, it's on Amazon, it's on, you know, Ali, Banggood probably. Uh, you know, there's tons of places you could probably find this um, knockoff antenna, if it is a knockoff, and I think it is. Came in this bag. So it came in this bag. And, you know, they, they're pretty good. Some of the knockoffs actually work pretty well. Um, and really, when you're talking about antennas, I mean, as long as it's soldered right, as long as it's, you know, put together right, a clone can be, you know, pretty close and at least in effectiveness. So if you're on a budget, uh, that is one reason I wanted to share this video today. Just a, a budget idea. So I bought it, maybe spent maybe a total of $10 to get this. And it is a nice antenna. I mean, it is very nice. And it's probably maybe three feet. I don't know offhand, somewhere around there. So now we'll go back in and we used the basic antenna that came with it, the basic telescopic. Now let's go ahead and try this again, lengthen it all the way. So it is a longer antenna. So that right off the bat is another, you know, helpful thing. And I'm also, you know, still traveling. So I don't know all the frequencies. So I only had a couple memorized from where I am. Okay, it's definitely clearer sounding, and I haven't even turned it up. Ooh. And then you want to adjust your bandwidth here. Check out my earlier videos, and as you can see, it is a much, you know, it's a longer antenna, period. So, of course, it's going to be better at that, but really, the durability itself is going to be uh, much better with this one that's on it right now than the one that came with the Hacker FM Portapack. So if you're looking for an option, uh, this is an option that you can go with. Uh, look for, if you want an affordable one, look for this gold hologram sticker right here on the uh, front piece here, the base. And like I said, it's really strong and will hold in place for you much better than the one that came with the Portapack and the Hacker F. So if you want something that, you know, you just got to be careful because as mentioned, this little bottom piece has two things here. And there's actually what looks like glass going around in this area that goes around the edge. So almost like a light bulb fastening. So it looks like they kind of screwed it on. I'm not exactly sure how they did that uh, considering the other piece that was on it. But I'm sure something in the factory they had to put that on. But yeah, I may solder this back on because the wire broke when I turned it just to adjust it so I could sit the antenna how I wanted it. Um, and a lot of the antennas you can actually do that, but not with all the knockoffs. And that's another reason I think it's probably a knockoff. But maybe the original's like that too. Who knows? I have never used a diamond antenna before. Um, and so it's a great option. Think... Uh, think you guys would like having this antenna. So if you have a Hacker F and Portapack, make sure also that you get the right type. So as you see, this little male end here, you want to ensure you have that because when you're hooking it on to your Hacker F, you have to make sure it will fit into the antenna port here. So this SMA right here, you want to make sure, see there's a hole in there. You need to make sure you have that male end to go in that hole. So that way you don't get a double of the same end. So if you get an antenna and you get the wrong one, you may actually have another hole on the antenna. You don't want that. With a Hacker F, you want to make sure you have the male uh, antenna wire end coming out here. So if you can see that, you know, barely, probably barely can see it, but yeah, it screws on, you know, it's nice and durable antenna. As mentioned, I have to repair the first one I got because I was playing around a little too much. Um, but this other one, the replacement I got for it, really excellent. And I do recommend it. Definitely recommend it. It's much more durable feeling overall. You just want to avoid ever twisting that bottom part here. Because if you twist that bottom part, you're going to have the same problem I had. You're going to have a broken antenna wire. So hope this video was useful to you guys. Another quick look at the antenna. 
in case you're shopping around. It's the SRH789 in this stance. There's other similar ones as well. Um, but what's nice is it also has some of these measurements here for antenna tuning. And uh, it works well. So if you don't want to spend the 40 or more dollars for the official, you could go with one of these and spend about 10 bucks. That's what I have today, guys. Make sure to share that video. I really appreciate your help sharing these videos. Helps grow the channel. And really, you know, the point in these videos is to share information, things I find interesting. I enjoy sharing those kind of things. I've always been an artist at heart. And creating things is just one of my passions. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you had any other antenna suggestions for the Hacker F and Portapack, really would love to hear that because I'm always looking for another one. I'll talk to you guys later about the Hacker F and Portapack.